Well, hello again. <laughs> Let me just get myself out of the way. Did you watch my first paraphrasing video lesson? Let's do the same lesson with a different topic. Remember, paraphrasing impresses the examiner. It shows that you have high level of vocabulary and that you don't just copy from the essay. Here is another task. It is about women getting unfair treatment. In many parts of the world, women still do not have the same opportunities as men in both their professional and personal lives. How can this situation be improved? And in this essay, you have an instruction to only give suggestions. So you don't have to explain the problems, just give the solutions. So let's think about how the examiner is thinking. What is the examiner looking for in any English writing exam? You are given a statement or a question. You have to respond and follow instructions. You have to show that you have high level of understanding of the topic, which means giving the examiner a wide range of vocabulary. And that means you must paraphrase the essay question and the topic. You cannot and should not only copy the words in the question. Here is the question again. Remember, the topic is about women not having the same opportunities as men. Notice it's at work, professionally, and at home or socially, personally. Here is a quick sentence just to get us started. The question said, in many parts of the world. I wrote, around the world. Many women is hard to paraphrase, but this one is acceptable. It's common writing. The essay question said, do not have the same opportunities. So I wrote, do not get equal treatment. We've got professional and personal lives. So I wrote, this happens in the workplace and at home. This is a good example of how to paraphrase, keep the same meaning but different words. So remember what I said a minute ago, you need a wide range of vocabulary. In many parts of the world, you can write in many countries, all around the world. Same opportunities. Do not get treated equally. Men get better treatment. Men have an unfair advantage. Or women lack the same opportunities as men. So you don't have to avoid all the words. Just don't copy everything. Remember this part, professional and personal, so at work, in workplaces, socially, in the home, in friendship circles. And then this essay asks for suggestions, solutions. So you must be good with this situation be improved part. You might use another verb like fix make the situation better, make it more equal, and look at this one, reduce inequality 
between the sexes. So I hope you now understand the high level and range of vocabulary you have to show the examiner. Start from the very beginning. The introduction you need to start showing the examiner you can paraphrase. Remember, most writing essays, most essays have a three sentence introduction for IELTS Task 2. There is background information, followed by paraphrasing the essay question, and then the thesis statement, which is your position and your guide to the essay. So here is an example. It is undeniable that women lack the same opportunities as men. This occurs in the home, where they do most of the cooking, cleaning, looking after children, and at work, where they might miss out on promotions. This social problem can be remedied by, and then the writer gives three suggestions. And notice how this perfectly matches the question, answers the question, but does not copy everything from the question. You have to keep doing this from the question to the introduction and all the way through the body. Now, this lesson is really focused on your ability to express the meaning in a different way. Paraphrase. So, I'm not showing you all the paragraphs, just the beginnings of the body paragraphs. So remember the thesis statement, there were three suggestions. Number one, changing the law. So the first one is about law. Number two, using the media to show positive images. So the second one is about highlight positive images of women. And what was the third suggestion? Businesses have a quota for women in leadership positions. Now, a quota is a target number. A target number. So, in the third body paragraph, it would be a good idea for each business to have a quota which keeps the proportion of women to men equal or more equal. So can you see, even from the introduction to the body paragraphs, a good writer is paraphrasing herself. You also have to paraphrase from the introduction to the conclusion and train your eyes. Keep looking back to the essay question. In the whole 40 minutes that you are writing your essay in IELTS or another exam, keep checking. You are human. You forget. You get distracted by other ideas. So keep looking back at the essay question. So this conclusion says women are currently not obtaining equality. Nice paraphrase. Using the word legislation instead of law and making our society a better place for women. Also, did you notice in the instruction, it said be improved, and this student has used improvements, a noun. So I just want to remind you of some techniques for paraphrasing. You can pause the video and have a look. 
We can use synonyms. So instead of do not have, write lack. You can change from active to passive voice here. The third column shows changing the ideas around. So A, B or B, A. You can change the word form. This is a nice example. Maybe in the question it says unfair treatment or in your introduction. Then in the conclusion, you can write treat unfairly. And the final one is to expand the clause or reduce it to a phrase. So take your time and learn them well. Here is the whole essay minus parts of the body paragraphs. You can find this whole essay in my IELTS Writing Task 2 video lessons. But the focus here is paraphrasing. Thank you so much for watching this lesson. I really hope you enjoyed it. But most of all, did you understand it? You cannot and should not only keep copying the words from the question. You have to vary your vocabulary, swap ideas around, try to think from different perspectives, and good luck with your English writing exams.